Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another Titans new cards review. And we've got today a lot of new Titans. We got the Priest, the legendary Titan, 7 mana, 3 attack, 10 health with Titan. After this uses an ability, discover any legendary minion. Now let's see the Titan ability. So the first one is Choose a non-Titan minion, summon a copy of it, plus two, plus two. That's that's fairly, fairly, very powerful. Summoning a copy of a minion is always very good, especially in wild. The next one is choose two enemy minions, remove them from the game. Very powerful removal, much better than Sylvanas. One extra mana and discover a legendary. Sounds like a good deal. And the last one, summon a random six cost minion, give it taunt and lifesteal. That's quite intriguing. That's quite intriguing. So not only is a very good value card, it's also a very good control slash combo card. Quite powerful. The legendary Titan for for Priest, it's, it's one of my favorites so far, but that's not stopping there. Moving on to Hunter, Titan, 6 mana, 3 attack, 7 health, Titan, Balakrai, equip a 3-3, Tis, I cannot read that. Now let's see what the abilities from the Titans are. Give your weapon, after your hero attacks, draw a card. That's very good, that's very good. Or give your weapon, after your hero attacks, summon a 3-3 enforcer with taunt even better, or give your weapon plus two attack and your hero is immune while attacking. Not bad at all, that's really good. And this is the weapon, and this is the token you can summon. Moving on to Paladin Titan, seven mana, one attack, eight health. With Titan that has taunt, your minions can't take more than two damage at a time. We've seen that before, and I really, really like that effect. Now let's see what the minions, what the minion Titan do. So the first one you can choose from, it's give your other minions plus two, plus two. Very good, very good. Or set the attack and health all enemy minions to two. We've seen a similar thing before in Paladin, but Holy, that's really, really good. I, I, I think it's really, really insane. And moving on to the last ability you can cast, it's draw two minions, set their attack and health and cost to two. You can definitely put this in big paladin because oh boy, oh boy. That's gonna make some good Neptulons. <laughs> two mana Neptulon, mm, quite cool, no. Now moving on to the Warrior Titan. Let's see if Warrior is going to be finally playable. We got a 6 mana, 4-4 four, four, Titan. After this uses an ability, gain immune this turn and attack a random enemy minion. That's pretty good as it is. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I think that's really nice. Let's see the abilities. Gain plus two, plus two, and draw a weapon. Fair enough. Or gain five attack or and give your hero five attack this turn. Sure. That sounds good. Or gain five health and give your hero five armor. So not only it's very aggressive, but also it can be very control. Nonetheless, it's a very, very good Titan. So far, which is your favorite Titan? The Priest, the Hunter, the Paladin, or the Warrior one? So far, my favorite has to be the Priest one, not because I like Priest more than all classes, but I think the Priest one is very nice because I love discovering stuff. And that one discovers me stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this reveal.
kind of video, more like a reveal new cards review. I hope you enjoyed and see you all into the next one. Goodbye, everyone.